Hello, my cat tarot friends. This is Cat, and this is like my introduction to the X spread, which we're going to actually uh, look into today. So, please, if you haven't been here before, or if you've forgotten why I'm doing this, just spend this couple of minutes to view it. Um, if you are already familiar with it and you're following the series, check down in the description, and you're going to see the link that you can click in and just move on to the reading for your sign. So, what is this? Every sign is going to have exactly the same header. These are just the chapters. Just imagine like in a school, you have to write an essay and a teacher kind of gives you, well, these are the chapters you need to cover. I have developed this spread, I call it Cat Terror Knows X spread, but I'm also applying this to relationships because for relationships and people who need to inquire, I will just remove the knight and I'll put a king. Also, if there are two women, I would put two queens or two kings or two knights, depending on who is the couple, who is the person inquiring. Since many of you who are listening this X spread ask me to do this reading for them i'm actually putting it on a special so check it out on my website www.cattarot.ca under uh, book your reading just scroll it down to basically x spread also if you are on enough relationship this is going to be spread for you because what it does it gives me slices through the past through present that I can actually connect and check what might happen in the future. So why am I choosing these seven cards? It kind of really, sp I, I spent lots of time getting to this. So it was not an easy process. But each of them is giving me a category that I want to figure out in order to figure out how your relationship works and if can it work at all. Sometimes the most beautiful couplehoods just don't work out. And sometimes you see couples that you're wondering why they are together. And I think the seven categories are going to explain that for me. So the very first significator, the magician, in this category, I'm going to find out what are the tools you're given as a relationship. For example, if you're baking a bread, you need flour, you need salt, you need sugar, you need yeast, you need baking power. Um, I don't know, eggs, and then you can put extra ingredients. You can put raisins, you can put cinnamon, um, you can put seeds, right? So what if you only have water and bread? What if you have all the ingredients and you don't have water? So if an essential ingredient is missing, no amount of work is going to make this possible. Right? So I'm actually trying to see here if this relationship was ever a starter. So the second card, temperance, I am using that reversed purposely. Because in the upright situation, temperance is basically turning you into light. Everything can actually be made in this situation. Like there is a growth, there is a connectivity. And you see the angel is putting two different things together, just like two people have to come together. So when this usually comes in a reading and talks about moderation, balance, okay, the couple go together. The reason why I'm in this category looking in the reverse situation is because I do want to see what is unglued in this relationship because that glue kind of sticks us together even if we have bad times. So these kind of like are categories that really, really have to be looked at if this is a starter. Now, this is going to be one significator for one partner and this is going to be significator for another partner and this is going to represent the energy and the con com communication and connection between the two. So how he sees you, how he sees himself, how she sees you, how she sees herself, right? And what's going on? What's kind of like attention? What's kind of expression? What kind of love is in between is going to kind of come in these categories. The judgment is one of my four karma cards. And I really want to see here, okay, with all things given, how did you make that bread? How did you make it work up to this point? 
what is karma saying? Are you fulfilling the promise of this relationship? Is karma saying run? Is karma saying stay? Sometimes you get really surprising results because sometimes the connection is karmic and people are supposed to kind of fulfill their contract and fulfill their destiny. And the very last category is very pragmatic category. And this is the one you want to know. Hey, are we getting together? Are we not getting together? Is there a next step for this relationship? What is the quality of this relationship? Keep in mind that sometimes I will tell you, yes, guys, you will get together. But sooner or later, you're going to run into different problems and you have to work on that. So when you take a private reading with me, I kind of discover all of that. So let's jump into your own readings and let's go from there hi sweet gemini's let's see what's going to happen in october for you before i start i'm just going to set the stage just to see the situation that we are walking into it okay <sighs> three of wands that's actually good it's kind of like that point i am standing on this ledge where do I go? Do I really want to kind of like close the ships and see what comes back? Or do you really want to come back? But yeah, I kind of tend to go forward. I want to go forward. So what needs to be glued over here? Huh. Kind of being a little bit mouthy or prickly or maybe pushing buttons on someone. This is the guy kind of like who is like always ready to fight. But also there is like some level of fear in here and let's see who feels this so kind of like the communication needs to improve here well now five of pentacles reversed so two people walking by by the church so what possesses them not to go there and look for shelter so is it two of us against the world or is each of us for our own kind of like you feel maybe being let down being left out not being taken care of kind of like being a punching bag on some kind of level and it certainly uh it kind of like feels that you were committed and trying to make things work kind of like two of you against the world but it's it's kind of that bitter feeling in the mouth there is like this trying to get over somebody four of cups reverse let's see he is protecting his heart but maybe you are protecting your heart it's kind of still present right so look at this we have all four basically seasons we have cups we have pentacles we have swords and we have wands so this kind of like is really affecting every little bit of you right so let's see about a partner partner was <laughs> partner was like really into it for fun it was attraction that's for sure but attraction was not something deep at this stage and hence the judgment said you see that harshness kind of like was coming from this partner maybe it was kind of like it's okay if this is what they want that they're not wanting something solid something steady but just how they went about that the how that was communicated or um, one of you guys just failed to communicate this properly and kind of like felt kind of like really like burn right kind of somebody ripped into somebody right and yet there were some kind of secrets right so the high priestess is kind of interesting and and rarely rarely shows up here this also can actually talk about somebody's child or, or somebody's daughter right it is basically talking about the knowledge that can only be gained and, and that are understood through direct experience you know um, for knowledge is not possible because experience is essential so for example, you cannot read tarot cards unless you experience each of these situations, maybe ripping into somebody, being left out in the cold, healing a broken heart, being interested in somebody just sexually. So this is basically saying, look, this entire experience was a learning experience, right? 
Okay, so let's come to October and see where we are now. And let's see up to October the 10th. Something here was a test and a failed test. And this is now coming in a category of things that probably should be good, right? But okay, so let's see. We failed tests and we dust ourselves off. So let's see what happens. Wow. What needs to be glued? The quality of choices. The Lovers is ultimately a card that talks about choices, talks about temptation versus, you know, climbing the mountains and reaching for the new horizons. It's also saying here that things are just not gluing properly. Kind of maybe you were not a choice here in the situation and that kind of like is what felt very harsh maybe that hasn't been communicated but has been shown in a kind of really clear way and by the way this is guys your card as well so this can as well mean that you kind of need to fix yourself because this is obviously saying there is like a new layer a new level of experience and maybe this is calling for you kind of to do it we are going to see if we get also the magician showing up so there is a flavor of you guys giving up right seven of um wants look at that holding his heart kind of angrily maybe there was a battle there was like sort of like just like here me against the others and here yes i can we can and hence in the end look at that we have the people just trying to protect themselves in this whole situation the communication there you go I told you kind of like have a nose for this so this is you guys there is a communication that is kind of needs to be improved and it will be because kind of giving up on something that didn't work it is good because the magician showing up means okay there is a possibility I do have ability to create I do have ability to communicate you see this is kind of like that a thunder that goes through him and what is above is so below kind of a story over here so yeah this kind of like can be something that can be moved forward and this is like you guys Gemini as well but the partner is not into that the partner kind of like felt um, they feel it's a time for them to go on it's time for them to transform to something else kind of like they had this feeling here as well and it, it honestly they were here just for one thing this is plus kind of like very kind of card that is like self-discovery that keeps on going on right and look at that it's a queen of cups reversed and king of swords so yeah kind of there is an emotional upheaval for them and it, it's a head or heart and this is what the karma is saying right it was that learning experience because now we have the king we have a queen uh, we have the knight over here and the knight over here so there are like a lots of different aspects of this relationship that kind of is really hard to move forward onto why because like you need to talk when you're talking and this is why this kind of was a communication thing because one person wants to talk about what is like really important to them the other person wants to talk what is important to them and it keeps to be like two ships in a dark passing each other not sticking to the same exact issue a and this is what went wrong kind of like sometimes one person was emotional other times the other person was like just all in their head and look there is like this feeling of being stuck the chair at reverse means thinking just in black and white and you just didn't serve me you just didn't do this for me and hence you know we are just not going forward we are not moving forward this also talks about demons right i was saying here that there is kind of self-discovery it's kind of experiencing this on your own skin and this is like also facing your own truth where you are heading with this and what was a dead end why is this reaching this kind of culmination maybe not but it looks like both of you are, are giving up and you're actually finding yourself it kind of like you have been lost and now you have been found it's just like literally something happening almost simultaneously and that transformation is taking place so let's see from the 11th to the 20th of october 
Hmm. Queen of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. There is a couple here. Queen of Pentacles also sometimes tells me there is a, a wife card, right? So somebody could be in a relationship here, but I still don't have other cards to sustain this. But this can also be, uh, you know, some kind of some kind of like temporary arrangement over here and what needs to be kind of fixed is like kind of like somebody doesn't want to be alone right like i mean this is a really good card it's like every one of us has to go through this stage before actually moving into a serious, serious relationship kind of growing into who we are being the best we can be right accomplishment of accomplishing ourselves beating ourselves right beating like the best we can be and then getting better sort of that kind of a thing right but when this is reversed it's saying that somebody's thinking really highly about themselves you know i'm, I'm just a good for you uh, i can do better kind of a thing right and hence the secrets and this is kind of connected to the high priestess the moon is talking about the secrets the moon kind of talks about shadows so let's talk about that you know we all been in the moonlight we all know that kind of our mind creates what it wants to see so that's what is basically talking about it there is like something on the surface that looks one way however behind the scenes there's something else going on and the current conditions are not necessarily a reflection of the truth of what is really going on so be careful because this card also talks about an opportunity and waiting for the perfect time uh, for illumination. So you're kind of seeing maybe coming up with some kind of strategy, kind of having, having some kind of configuration here of your own. Maybe you're holding back for some reason. It was like kind of like, look, I did give up. But this is not to say that I'm stupid or that I didn't know what the heck is going on here. I kind of like have my concept in, in this, all of this. And my, part of it was like, look, first of all, I have to become who I am. And look at that. There is like the feeling of celebration. You guys will probably have friends to support you, to celebrate you, to kind of like really guide you forward into some kind of newfound who you are. It's kind of positive. And this is kind of being a little bit of mysterious kind of like giving this flavor so even though kind of like this kind of reached some kind of ending the partner or somebody here is like still really sad about that it's kind of like this is a pinning for a loved one um but possibly this person is also a drama queen kind of like they set the stage they set their bed so now it's a time to lie into it now when you are happy you're finally after saying look you're leaving me out in the cold you're being brush with me you're being abrupt with me and that's it i don't want to argue with you anymore i'm just like tired of this game and then you kind of like pulling yourself kind of close the door and, and start like i mean paying attention to yourself now they're kind of a little drama queen or you know so Obviously, miscommunication keeps happening. Look at this, we have two nines. Kind of like a final stages of something. But look at this, the card is saying, okay, so there is a seed of something new in the situation. And this is kind of like what lurks in the shadows. <clears throat> because both of these cards are also linked to Pisces. And there I go. So, <laughs> funny enough uh, for you guys somebody might actually come with a proposal hey you know uh, you know I still like you and this time it's going to be different it's going to change the flavor this person is not going to be as they were before they will try to win you back they will try to win you back because they would be the one gambling on, on on the situation with you and maybe it's just a realization maybe this already happened over here because it does look like breakup already took place but you coming to yourself and to the realization <laughs> it's like you know you don't want to be a member of a club where you're a member right 
that's kind of a thing they are kind of feeling oh well wait a minute they might look like, because obviously they needed this admiration and they kind of needed this and they're saying well you know what Pff, okay fine whatever off I go and all of a sudden they're interested right this is typical right when you kind of don't run after them anymore they have to kind of like run after you and let's see the last 10 days from the 21st to the 31st so look at this it's again confirming it so yeah there is a potential guys but it is a potential if I leave uh, a candle and matchsticks on the table you still have to put it together right so some effort has to be made over here there is this feeling that there is maybe somebody else or, or a feeling of rejection or feeling of not knowing where you stand so there is this third party here that is showing up so it could be there is somebody else but that somebody else was not active engagement I think here it was more like somebody who still was hovering or interfering it could be even a mother or a father or, or past boyfriend it could be even friends you kind of are leaning toward going back because you know this is how mind works you can remember really nice things that happen so feeling nostalgia over better times communication is going to be way this is really good look at this this was like from oh i need to be really important here so okay how can two of us make this work so this is really good but look at this person is person is not very stable they kind of like go from one to nine it's back and forth it's just like here kind of like they are facing certain things in themselves and then they just get stuck here so after all this kind of things and after coming forward toward you maybe you're communicating look you have hurt me and all of a sudden this is enough for them to to climb up this also talks about their own fears about their own insecurities so obviously person needs to be admired and adored hello why do you need that in a relationship those are two equals this is not supposed to be this way this kind of goes without saying so going to this big extremes kind of like yeah there is a house and a home and everything and this you guys you know you probably have horse kind of nerves or something there you go so they're going from this page of cups to page of wands from being romantic to kind of like just checking out because now they're all into their thoughts and you're kind of left wondering you see this is we started with this three and now finishing with two you're kind of wondering if this is really going forward or is this kind of going backward because in this state there is like this kind of like really meditation just like here right experiences or what kind of experiences i want this with this person what can i build with this person and then okay so we kind of have made this decision so do we go forward or do we not go forward that's pretty much how it tarot works so we went from this to this this is not a lost case guys it is a possibility here but again communication communication and communication i want to say more actually gemini is really good at this unless you are like dealing here with sagittarius but i don't see sagittarius in the cards because sagittarius and gemini it's kind of really weird communication weird com communication freudian slip weird combination because the communication is just kind of really not flowing properly so it's either working okay or not working at all so this is kind of like what he's talking about is black and white thinking so guys this is a general reading so your personal reading doesn't even have to be anything close so contact me this uh, x is on a special or on and off relationship for 50 bucks so contact me via my website www.catterra.ca also thank you everybody for continuing to visit and continuing to support me and if you're new please subscribe and of course lastly i love to hear from all of you i mean there is no discrimination your, your experiences are valuable i mean tarot is tarot has no end so by you actually giving me your input i'm actually learning and we're all learning jointly so that's kind of like win 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 situation so guys thank you so much for um staying until the end and until the next time you know that i love you